Guys, if you just got your new iPhone 15 Pro and you want to transfer the data from Android to iPhone, then this video is for you. First up, go ahead and unbox your iPhone and turn it on. Once you're at the Startup Hello screen, swipe up and select your language and country. It will then take you to the Appearance screen. You can set your text and icon size here. It's really quite handy. If you struggle to see fine print, slide the bar all the way to the right. Otherwise, just leave it as it is. Now if you are transferring from iPhone to iPhone, this quick start screen will help you find your old iPhone. We are transferring from Android, so we want to tap on Setup without an another device. Go ahead and connect your iPhone to your Wi-Fi, and then tap Join. Awesome, so now your iPhone will connect to the Apple servers and activate. Tap continue on the data and privacy screen and continue setting up your face unlock and your passcode and follow the prompts until you get to the transfer your apps and data screen. Cool, this is the transfer your apps and data screen I mentioned. You want to tap on from Android because we are transferring from Android to your new iPhone. Now you need to download the Move to iOS app on your old Android phone and this will help us transfer the data from Android to iPhone. Go ahead and tap on Agree, and then Continue. And then tap Agree again. And then we don't want to send, because we don't want to send app usage. And then tap Continue again. All right, and then just while using the app, tap Continue again. And Allow. And find your code, Continue. And then just type in the code that was on your iPhone. Awesome. Now depending on how much data you have on your Android phone, it might take some time to prepare. Alright, on your Android phone, go ahead and select the data that you want to copy across to your iPhone. And if it prompts you to allow, just tap on allow. So things like messages, contacts, photo library, apps, and you can even copy across WhatsApp. Okay, for the video, I'm only going to select contacts and apps. Otherwise, it will take far too long to copy across all my photos uh, and it'll be too long for the video. Now if you have a lot of data to copy across, just make sure that both your phones have fully charged batteries. Awesome, your transfer is complete. Tap continue and then follow the prompts to set up your iPhone. I'm going to skip through most of these setup options. You can set these up later in the iPhone if you want anyway. But what I want to show you is the last part of the setup which is where the apps copy across. Okay, this part here is important. If you have a SIM or a mobile number, you can transfer it via these options here. 
So you have two options to transfer from nearby iPhone or use the QR code. I have a hardware SIM, so I will set this up later. Or the other option is down the bottom, you can just enter the details in manually for your SIM card. All right, continue setting up your phone as you need to. Go ahead and set your display to lighter or darker display. So you can set it to auto and it will just change automatically. Just hit continue. And then this part is pretty interesting as well. If you have the iPhone 15 Pro or the 15 Pro Max, you will have the what is called the action button on the side. You can set the action button to a software function on your iPhone. So for example, if you wanted to set the button to a camera or flashlight, then you just tap that action button on the side and then the flashlight will come on or you'll be able to use your camera. All right, tap continue and just go through to your phone and you should get the welcome to iPhone and then you will get another prompt here wanting to copy your apps across. Just go ahead and tap on add apps. Go ahead and sign in with your Apple ID. If you don't have an Apple ID, go ahead and sign up because you will need an Apple ID to transfer the apps across to your new iPhone. Cool, if you get prompted for two-factor authentication, you will need to get that code from your old Android phone. Tap on Agree for the terms and conditions. And then tap on Always Require. If you get the prompt, save password items for free, just tap on Not Now. Cool. And then if you've done everything correctly and set it all up, it should start to download your apps from your Android phone. As you can see, I've got some Google apps installing there, some Audible ones, Gumtree, Facebook, Snapchat, WhatsApp. They're all starting to come across. Awesome guys, well congratulations, you have just copied across all your data from your Android phone to your new iPhone. Okay guys, that's all from me. If this was a helpful video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching guys, bye bye.